what it do y'all it's your girl renee things and today we're going to be doing a cooking video with me so this is a quick and easy video you can do because y'all i understand college is coming to an end it's gonna be the summertime but you still gotta eat feed yourself so this should only take about maybe 20 minutes if that i cook kind of slow so maybe a little longer let's get into it boom so here's the supplies and ingredients that you will need so i'm making this for friends so they're gonna have the non-vegan and i'm gonna have the vegan options so the only thing that i changed in this was the cheese and instead of having chicken i had salmon oh yeah because i'm well pescatarian y'all <laughs> but there goes some chicken and some cheese and then here's some plant-based rice but y'all don't sleep on it it's so good some spanish rice and they have different flavors and stuff like that too but i think that was the best one they had next you're gonna need some tortillas i had some vegan tortillas some butter and I use olive oil instead for mine and some ranch style beans. They have this one with some jalapenos, but I couldn't find them and I was super sad. You're gonna also need some type of vegetables. So I had some peppers and some onions. Don't forget the seasoning, y'all. Do not be cooking without no seasoning. I know y'all in a rush, but y'all ain't that much in a rush. I'm also going to need a knife and a cutting board, y'all. Please stop cutting on paper plates. <laughs> stop cutting on your glass plates and on your counters and stuff. And some pots and pans. First, what we're going to do is wash our hands. Yeah, no, first we're going to wash our hands. I wash my hands off camera. Then we're gonna cut into the chicken and we're gonna cut it up. But first, before we cut it, y'all, we gotta rinse it off. I know that some people have different techniques of how to rinse it off, but baby, I just use plain water. I ain't that all that. Like I said, it's gonna be something quick and easy that you can eat. So then after that, we're gonna cut it up into small pieces. So you can cut it into strips. You can cut it into, you know, however you wanna cut it in, but I just cut it up into small pieces. Um, I took most of the fat off, but I did leave some on there just because you do need fat, but a good seasoning, you gotta have a little fat on there, but not too much because nobody want all that. So boom y'all the chicken is all cut up and so now we finna get into the seasoning y'all can use any seasoning seasoning y'all want but i use different ones so first you can use butter but i use olive oil and then and then we're gonna use some chicken rub yes there we go focus focus okay boom some garlic honey chicken rub you're gonna sprinkle it all, all over yes Make sure you season y'all meat well. Then you're gonna use some tiny saturates, the green one. What's this right here? That's some garlic powder, I believe. Some onion powder. You're gonna use garlic and onion, so just use both of them. And some black pepper, because y'all gonna need that. I don't really use salt, you can add salt, but I really don't like salt. And you gotta give it a little spice. So I like cayenne pepper. You gotta give it a little spice, y'all. And you're gonna mix it all together. Make sure y'all get it real good. If you got nails on, I probably use gloves, but my nails are too long for the gloves, so I have to wash my hands real good after this. So next right here we're gonna cut up the bell peppers um you can cut it up small but since we're making 
quesadillas, y'all. I like to cut them up the size of the quesadillas and then, you know, put them in there like that. But um, you can also keep the seeds in, too, if you want to. I didn't take them out just because, oh, I forgot to tell y'all in the beginning. We're going to add some sriracha to it, too. So don't forget that. But I didn't add the seeds because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some spicy sriracha to the end. Okay, y'all, so when y'all done, you're going to put the chicken and your bell peppers and your onions in a different container. So I had to get a different skillet because that one was small and it didn't look that clean. You're going to spray it with some olive oil or you can use some butter. And you're going to get you a pot and you're going to get you a pot full of water. And you're gonna put them on the stove. I put the first pot on like a medium heat, so maybe four or five, but I put the back burner for the beans on one or two. And I added some butter to the beans. Then you're gonna put your chicken in there. Cook it up, cook it up. Try to use a non-sticking pan too, just because you know chicken be sticking. And yes, we're gonna get that last little piece that bell too. Okay, so then maybe about like five, ten minutes later, you're going to come back, stir it up, make sure it's doing good. Then you're going to add the beans, y'all. It was so funny because I didn't have a can opener, so it came out so janky, but we got it open. I had to use a knife. So then we're gonna make the spinach rice next. Um, pretty self-explanatory, just put it in there. I think about seven to 10 minutes, cover it up, stir it up, you know, and then boom, it's done. And I turned it up just a little, no, I turned it down just a little bit. And then I think another couple minutes came by and I stirred it up and I make sure, you know, stir the stuff up so make sure it won't stick to the bottom of the pan. Make sure you add some oil, some stuff into that. Make sure it don't stick. Then I started adding uh, my onions and my bell peppers because I wanted them to be cooked a little bit, but I didn't want them to be too soggy. I want them to have a little crunch to it. Then we're going to mix that up, mix that around. Boom, y'all. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, the sriracha chili sauce. So, y'all, this was actually really hot, hotter than I thought. But I put a lot, and my friend was like, uh-uh, this was too hot. You gonna mix that all the way around. And by this time, y'all, y'all beans and rice should be done. So, y'all can put it on a low heat of one, or you can turn it off. And there go the onions. So then we're gonna put the stuff, um, the chicken and stuff like that in a different container because we're gonna use this for the tortillas. So we wanna brown them a little bit on the inside. So you'll put some butter in a pan. Make sure y'all stir that rice up too. You get your tortilla, you just smack it in there. Yeah, the lighting right here sucks so bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. I thought I fixed the lighting, but I didn't. But you're going to make sure you want it to be like kind of a golden brown. Because you're going to flip it over and that's going to be the inside of the quesadilla. So 
so maybe after a couple minutes you're gonna flip it over just really um when you see it's kind of golden and brown then y'all here go the parts so you're gonna put the cheese on there you're gonna put some meat and then some more cheese You gonna let that sit and here y'all go make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and turn on post notifications make sure y'all know that looks only get you inside the room personally helps you stay in the room but having a good character helps you own it peace out